Second and goal from the two, shotgun snap. Now Anderson gonna keep it and dives for the end zone. It's a Buffalo touchdown. Hi, right, I'm Chaz Anderson. Chaz looking to throw deep down the middle of the field, wide open, it's a Buffalo touchdown. Quarterback, number seven. Play action pass on first down, deep ball, down the sidelines lines. He wants Alex Newts, one-handed catch and a Buffalo touchdown. And you're in the bullseye. I'm Paul Peck, radio voice of Buffalo Bulls football, and you're in the bullseye as we go inside UB Athletics. And we do it from here in Muncie, Indiana, following a very tough MAC opening loss by the Buffalo Bulls to the Ball State Cardinals. A 28-25 defeat that was the tale of two halves. The Bulls did not play well in the first half, played very well in the second half, but ultimately a tale of the final 29 seconds. That's when Ball State scored the touchdown that gives them the three-point victory. We will look back and analyze this very tough defeat with head coach Jeff Quinn and the Bulls players. We'll talk women's soccer with head coach Michael Thomas, who has his team off to its best start in nearly a decade. We'll also talk a little volleyball and look back at this past weekend's Blue and White Classic and look ahead to the rest of the season. But we start with more on this very tough defeat for the Buffalo Bulls football team. A 28 to 25 loss to the Ball State Cardinals. As you could imagine, a shocked and stunned Buffalo Bulls team and head coach following this very disappointing defeat. Yeah, Ball State's a good team. Uh, you know, Wendy's a good quarterback. So, you know, uh, they did a heck of a job tonight and they got the win, we did. I'm now joined by Bulls radio color analyst Jim Kubiak. Mac games tend to have their ups and downs, tend to be crazy, tend to be memorable. I think all of this one uh, wraps into those categories. It was a memorable up and down and crazy game. And it started by the fact that the Bulls drive down the field, score on their opening drive, and then don't play very well, prompting a very significant change at halftime. Yeah, and they struggled in the first quarter and into the second quarter. and went in and regrouped and came out and really executed, did a great job of running the football, which they probably wish they would have done in the first half, but they got it going. And, uh, you know, this football team is explosive. They display that. They're powerful. They can run the football. And, and this is a heartbreak because they really had a chance to win. Well, the two dominant players for the first two games were not dominant in the first half, but they were in the second half. Brandon Oliver, again, over 100 yards. First UB running back since James Starks in 2008 to go over 100, but he had over 80 of those yards in the second half. And they really did get it going. They executed on the offensive line. They were pushing people around. They were maintaining their blocks, and Brandon Oliver was able to find creases and, and make plays and and there was great effort on the Buffalo sidelines great effort by everybody and you know Ball State out executed them in the fourth quarter the other dominant player Khalil Mack just two tackles at halftime he finishes with 11 made some very key plays that look like they might be enough to give the Bulls the victory here what did Khalil Mack change to go back to being that dominant player well, sometimes I think you're just in the right place at the right time, and he's got great instincts, and, and sometimes you need motivation. Sometimes the horse needs to be kicked, and for lack of a better term, and, and I think Buffalo got that kick, and they responded, and but when you're on the road, especially in a conference game, you've got to play 60 minutes, and I think Buffalo fell a little short of that. Well, with six and a half minutes to go, it looked like a Buffalo victory. With 29 seconds left, it winds up ultimately being a Buffalo defeat. How tough are games like this to bounce back from? Well, they are difficult, and this is an emotional drain, a long trip, then a tough loss in the fourth quarter when you had an opportunity to get off the field and win this football game. So it's going to be tough emotionally, but these are young, resilient kids. It's a great coaching staff. You know, they're going to go back to the drawing board. They're going to go back to the things that they do well. They're going to prepare, and they'll be ready for next week. Well, keeping his kids focused for the game against Connecticut back at UB Stadium, one of the big jobs for Jeff Quinn. Let's hear from the Bulls head coach. Certainly, I felt in the second half, we showed more you know, effort. We had our chances. You know, there was mistakes out there tonight that obviously cost us some critical mistakes. And we told them it was going to come down to the few, last few seconds of the game. And you know, we wanted to be in that situation, but certainly we didn't want the end result the way it went tonight. I mean, we weren't firing on all cylinders. We're a dangerous team, and we showed that in the second half. We can't, we can't start out like that in the first half. We're a new team this year. We can run the ball this year. So as aggressive as we like to be throwing the ball, I mean, we can run the ball. I mean, Grand and Oliver, offensive line, I've been doing a stellar job this year. 
just Brandon's effort, you know, he's just got a relentless effort. He's got another, uh, like I said, you know, he's a very passionate, competitive kid, and, you know, he wanted an opportunity to put this offense on his back. And then you know, the offensive line did a much better job picking up some of the things that they were showing. And, you know, we were able to establish some more of the run game, and, and that's what put us in the position to take the lead. We just, we're just supporting each other because we know how great we can be. Um, it's hard, you know what I mean, coming out here fighting four quarters and um, being let down at the end. So, I mean, we're just trying to keep our heads up and get ready for the next week. I'm a big believer in my actions, and I'm going to continue to fight each and every day, give 100%, try to get better each and every day, practice more harder, and, and that's what I'm going to do. You're going to see us at practice this week if you guys can watch us. I mean, Monday, we're going to have corrections. We're going to know what we did wrong, and we're going to come out hard. We're going to lift. We're going to do all the things right. Then Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, we're going to practice hard. We're going to game plan hard. We're going to watch film. We're going to do all the little things. We're going to come out against UConn ready to play. We're a good football team, and we have great talent and great coaches. And uh, we have to believe in each other and uh, believe in ourselves and just continue uh, to persevere. This is a great lesson for us about the game of life. In life, you have to persevere. And for us, we learned that today.